Well, welcome back to the farm. Uh, working on the farm truck this morning. Yesterday, I had it out doing work, and the uh, on the the dash, right where the speedometer odometer reading is at, it flashes up. Water in the fuel. It stayed on for a little while, then it went off for a while, then it come back on for a while. I'm going to show you how to drain, and it's next to where the fuel filter that's inside of the uh, vehicle's frame is at a drain pan, six millimeter Allen wrench, and we'll see if we can get a good video shot of that. This is an E350, it's a Super Duty, the four door, 2007, right close to 250,000 miles on this vehicle. Uh, been a great truck, 6.0. I did uh, the uh, Super Oil Cooler from uh, Bulletproof Diesel out of Arizona, put that on there. It was a great upgrade. Uh, I cannot tell enough good things about it. I don't have to worry about uh, oil getting into the antifreeze anymore. Uh, I, it, it's been a good vehicle. But uh, anyway, hopefully this video will help somebody out there. Very simple task to drain the water off of the fuel system and we'll get to it. Okay, to pull the plug for draining the water out of the fuel system so the sensor will stop telling me on the dash with the warning water in fuel. I've got my drain pan uh, wearing my black gloves. Make sure you're wearing clothes. Uh, it's kind of breezy out here. Still may get diesel on my clothes. So don't be wearing your good clothes. Your metric, we're gonna use a six in the metric that will pull this plug and I'm going to crawl under there now and show you how to make this thing work. Okay, we're underneath, it's a 2007 F350 Super Duty. In the picture what you are seeing, of course, this is the drive line to give you an idea where it's at. To the left inside of the frame, back this direction is where one of the fuel filter housing is where the fuel filter then there's another one on top side of the motor which is a 6.0 right here is the plug that needs to be removed Okay, I've got the plug out. I'm going to let this drain for a little while, hopefully to get whatever water is in this filter housing, get it flushed out, and hopefully that will take care of our problem. Okay, to let you know, yes, I ended up changing my gloves to get away from the diesel, but I'm gonna clean up my Allen wrenches, and then we're going to start the truck up to see how it runs look at the dash and uh, everything should be good from here on out okay so let's start this truck up see what it says on the dash well I was saying it had 250,000 so it's 248,097 miles I got your attention let's talk about the scan gauge this has got velcro on the back I drilled a hole through the dash this little panel here to run it to the OBD port I can monitor the transmission fluid temperature the engine oil temperature and then the water temperature 
and normally it was yesterday all of those ran it was a cool day so it was running right about 160 uh, so with the scan gauge you could monitor quite a few different options and let me see if I can get this thing to focus so your FMP that's your FICM power anywhere from 47.5 I, I, they say it's safe at 48 volts um, but I've seen it down to 47 now there's 47.5 there but then as everything warms up the scan gauge is pretty cool because you can go to you can scan to see if you have any codes um, you can do your trip gauges more I leave mine on on the gauges and you could change any one of those points if you want to monitor what your engine transmissions doing uh, a real handy device back to the fuel in water it still hasn't popped back up showing that I guess time will tell if I'm driving and if something comes up but this is the uh, the old farm truck 2007 f350 super duty dually flatbed 6.0 out there somewhere I hope this video helps somebody that comes up with the same problem but everyone have a blessed day like share and subscribe we appreciate you